he always prepares something that will make the class go wow. Hello, my name's Tom Holloway and I teach at Hillcroft Primary School and I'm also the science leader there. I think he's a really great science teacher. Just want to say he's been the best part of my school year at Hillcroft. He's very fun and very a very good teacher to learn from. A love of science and an interest of science, I passionately believe, begins at primary school, at primary age. It's a good example of how science makes our lives better. That is what science is all about, improving the lives of people. Science is all about seeing the world differently and for primary school children, enabling them to uh, suddenly see the world in whole completely different ways. Suddenly it becomes a much deeper and more exciting place by learning primary science. For a lot of children, by the time they go to secondary school, they've already decided that science isn't for them and it's very difficult to get those children back and to change those minds. Science is amazing because you can like discover things that you haven't done before, like fingerprints, you can make lots of fun experiments, see like different colours and how they made different colours of pens. Getting that spark in children at that young age is something that will then stay with them, whether they pursue a, a career in science or whatever, that interest will stay with them throughout the rest of their lives. Hi, I'm John Williams, I'm head of school at Hillcroft Primary School. Tom eats, sleeps, lives science. You'll find a science connection in anything that he's doing. Having someone with his confidence and his knowledge and his expertise makes a huge difference. The science evenings he's run for parents and for children, the science packs he's created for children at home to be using science in and out of school, it has raised the profile of science across the whole school community. I think too often science can become actually a, a, a literacy lesson by default and it's all about children writing large and large amounts. One of the things I do is I enable my children to show what they've learnt in lots of different ways that might be through drawings, drama, lots of different ways that the children can express what they've learnt uh, and can access the learning as well. When this coloured pigment stops moving, this one keeps going and the colours separate out and you can see the different colours. I think children should learn specifically about chemistry at a primary level because they're doing a lot of chemistry without realising it. They mix paints, they make bread, they do all sorts of things where they're doing science. And I think it's really important that they realise we're doing science and they start to get an understanding of what's happening. My advice for teaching primary science would be, first and most importantly, is don't be afraid of things going wrong and not working. Uh, some of the best science lessons I've ever done are where the experiment didn't go as planned and some of the best learning came out of that. Make your lessons as, as hands-on for the children as possible. Science should be done, it shouldn't be kind of passively watched. It should be as much as possible about getting the children involved and doing it for themselves. I think that everybody has an opportunity to be a scientist because you can just do whatever you want and just play around and see what happens. Children take an idea, take a concept and run with it. You know, they're, they're in charge of their learning and they're the ones running the experiment. They've had their input and then they're off and they're just seeing it where it takes them and just sort of stepping back and watching that happen is really exciting and wonderful. That moment when they get a scientific concept, when they, they suddenly get it and they start applying that knowledge in all sorts of other places, seeing that kind of, seeing the penny drop is, is very, very exciting.